Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you my top 10 favourite books that I have read. Some of them I've read here in my house, other ones I've read at school, but here are my top 10 favourite books. Let me get the first one. The first one is called The 26 Story Treehouse, there. So it is by Andy Griffins and Terry Denton, it says, as you can see there. And it's a really good book, like, it's, like it's in a series, there's 100 and f it goes up from 13 to 104 Story Treehouse. There's the front cover. And then the blurb says, They live in the world's coolest treehouse. They've been doing some building work and now their treehouse has a skate ramp with a cool croco crocodile pit hazard. A mud fighting arena the ma and a maze of doom, which is so complicated that nobody knows it's gone in ever comes out again until now. So it's quite interesting. I have read it all. Like, there isn't that many words in it. As you can see, there's not that much words on my pages. But, you might be wondering how many pages are in it. Well, there is 343 pages, as you can see there. So, we're going to move on to my second one now. My second one is Tom Gates' Extra Special Treats by Liz. By someone called Liz. And then, it's a really good book as well. It's like similar, as you can see, not that much words bit more but re really good book this was the first ever tom gates book i read i got for my birthday a couple years i think it was a year ago now so it's got a lot of like cool fonts like different fonts for different words like there it's big and big so that's a good book as well the blurb says all this snow means i get a day off school yeah, shame I have to spend it with Marcus, he's very annoying. Uncle Kevin thinks it's a good idea to have a family portrait. Portrait done for the fossils. Fifty, little fossils, 50th wedding anniversary, which is not my idea of a present. Deli is not keen either. She's being grumpy, so no change there. So no change there then. There, and... There is, if you're wondering how many pages, I'll, I'll tell you now. There is, of a story, because there's some pages, like, yeah. But, in the, store, the actual story part, there's 221 pages. So a bit shorter than the last one, but still a really good book. So now the next one, this one I read at school. So like the whole class read it. This is The Boy Who Grew Dragons by Andy Shepherd. So this is a series as well as four books. I do have the second book. I'll get that in a minute. That is on one of my top ten because I haven't read it yet. But I will show you a front cover. And there, it's about a boy who grows some dragon fruit. And then the dra and dragons come out of the fruit basically. So then, there is a lot more words in this book, but still quite a few pictures. So I'll read you the blurb. We grow dragons, and I can tell you this. They're a lot more trouble than, than cucumbers. Pooing your dad's porridge, chasing your cat, chase, chase your cat, set light to your toothbrush, but I can tell you something else. Their bright diamond eyes twinkle up at you. Their warm breath tickles your ear. And you'd better keep a secret. You better keep them a secret. Because who wouldn't want their own dragon? So yeah. It has the story has about it uh, definitely has. Um let me just find the last photo of the story. It has 207 pages in this book 
I will go and get the second one just to show you the front cover so back in so I am back with the second one in the series I'm just showing you the front cover but I don't really want to read the blurb if it's not my top 10 or something but that is the second one in the series so my fourth my fourth book favorite book is Roald Dahl the Witches I read this at school again and it has a lot more words than a lot of other books that I'm going to show you in this video yeah a lot more words as you can see a lot more words and then the blurb says one child a week is 52 a year squish quick squish them and squiggle them and make them disappear so I will tell you, then there are all the other Roald Dahl books that he's done when when this book was released. Those are all the other books he'd have done. He'd, he'd have done then. Um, let me try and find out when this came out. I don't think it tells us. But I it's quite an old story. So now I'll move on to my... So I'm just going to tell you now, this video is going to be a bit longer than my normal like 5 minute videos. It's already been 6 minutes when I'm recording this. But the next one is my 6th one now. This is my 5th one actually. And it is another old owl, Fantastic Mr Fox. So it is another old owl as I said. It's a bit shorter. Like as you can see how thick it how thin it is compared to the witches it's a lot thinner so it's a shorter book really still quite a lot of words so yeah and then the blurb says do you hear me that fox is not over yet what we're not going home till we've till we've struck you up dead as a dingbat so yeah, that's the blurb. It has about, I think, about 200 pages. I'm not going to check because the video will be even longer then. I, I, I'm going to guess it has about 200 pages. The next one is the first book in the series of the Treehouse one. This is the 13 story Treehouse. This one is shorter with only 238 pages. Um, where does it say? 239. Well, it says 238 there, but there's no 239 where it says the end. But this is also a really good book. Now, on the background, it says, We live in the world's coolest treehouse. It's got a tank of man eating sharks and a marshmallow machine that shoots marshmallows into your mouth whenever you're hungry. Just watch out for the giant mutant mermaid sea monster. And whatever you do, don't get trapped in a burb gas filled bubble. So this is another really good book by the one and only Andy Griffins and Terry Denton again, as you can see there. Now I'll move on to my next book. This is going to be my... I think this is my sixth one now. I just counted all the books. But I think this is my sixth. This is a David Walliams now. One of my, my favourite author. This is The World's Worst Teachers. This is one of his newest books. I think, it's, I think it came out 2019 or 2018. But it is a really good book. It is 2018. Made in 2019, and it's basically 10, 10 horrible teachers. Like, I'll name them for you. Like, you might be able to tell by their names. So, we've got um, Mr. Pent, Miss Spick, Mr. and Mrs. Lo Lovely Dovey, Miss Consweet, Dr. Dread, um, Miss Sees, The Incredible Bulk. 
Miss Plathers, Miss Blatt and Mr Phobe. So I didn't read like and the because that might give a book away if you haven't read it yet. But yeah, another really good book by David Williams with a lot of pages in it. I'll just have a look through them. How many pages? I think there's about 300 pages in this book. So I read this. I got this last year now, I think. Or it might be early this year. But that is a really good book. So I'll move on to my next one. This video is just hit 10 minutes of recording. But I have this one. This one's quite old now. Well, I got this when I was smaller. I think I was in year one when I got this. Now I'm in year four. Nearly in year five. But this is called Beyond the Sky and You and the Universe by Dara O'Brien. Hmm? So I think that's him there. So this is like a really good book. It tells you about space. Like what would happen if you go into space. And like there's lots, quite a lot of words in it. So you can see quite a lot of words and a lot of pages. Let's see how many pages. Um, there is still a <laughs> Mm, sorry, I just can't find it. Oh, wait. 275. So that is another really good book. The blurb says, Join Dara O'Brien for a, for a hilarious, boggling, and altogether incredible journey through the solar system, across our galaxy and beyond. Want to know how to become an astronaut? Easy. Not really. What it might, what it might be, what it might, what it might be like to visit Venus? Horrific. How the universe ends, it's fine, it won't end, honest. Hop aboard for the funniest space flight ever to find out all of, all of this and much more. It's a, spa it's a space book, but not as you know it. So there is a blurb there. Let's cover up that. I don't know why. I, yeah, but... Yep, so that's the book. So the next one is... Well, this is another series. The third one is coming out quite soon, a couple of weeks, I think. But this is the second one. It's called Boot the Rusty Rescue. It's where this robot called Rusty is like old and lives in like older themed house. So I he doesn't really live in a house, but like he's quite old and like rusty. So Boot, that robot there, tries to rescue him. I don't I don't think he's on the front cover. No, Rusty's not on the front cover. But there is a, quite a lot of words in the book. Like, still a lot of pictures, but quite a lot of words. If that focuses. There you go. A lot of words. And then the second one in the series. Oh, I'll just read you the blurb. Hello, I'm Boot. I'm a robot. The rusty trouble started the day my friend Jerry's nose fell off. And in the search for a new nose, we found an old broken robot. He needs to be set free. And I know a lot about friendship, though humans still confuse me. So, so I knew I couldn't leave this broken robot behind. Join Boot on a thrill ride of an adventure stuffed with fun, friendship and a whole warehouse of fun bouncy castles. <laughs> so that is that book. Now the next one is boot small robot big adventure so this is like this is the first one in the series is by shane hegarty i can show you a picture of him there that's the um author and the illustrator ben mansell so this book is basically him like meeting some friends like there's a picture of all of them that is his owner boots owner called beth that is his friend Noak. This is his. This is Noak's friend Red. That's Boot and that's Poochie, the do a dog. So this is a really good book. The blurb says, "Hello, I'm Boot. I'm a robot. I woke up in a scrapyard with a cracked screen and only two and a half memories. 
I know I had an owner, Beth, and I'm certain she never meant to lose me. I have to find her. I just don't know how. They're going to be on a dangerous adventure to find where their home is, what friends look like, and why humans are so weakly and weird. So that is my top ten favourite books that I have read. So, if you want to see another video like this, just like the video. If it can get to 10 likes, I will do another one. So check out my other videos. I've got quite a lot of videos. So, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!